Hey there! Welcome back to Designs by Carrie Ann. So today we are talking about minis. What's a mini? Stay tuned. Okay, so minis are these small, I call them minis, and they're these itty bitty little canvases. These are four inches by four inches, and they, I feel like they um, require their own set of rules, if you will, and some of those rules involve smaller amount of paint. These are um, those little bitty mini uh, red Solo cups. They are two ounce cups. And um, the other challenge with painting on minis is uh, getting each of them level. So as always, I start with a level canvas. So I went through painstakingly, <laughs> made each one of these level. And I just basically jammed something underneath my pan to help uh, make them each level. So those are kind of the two differences between doing a mini canvas and say an eight by eight, 11 by 14, or something larger. So today I am using pretty much um, primary colors, except they happen to all be metallic primary colors. So I got primary, I got a metallic yellow, it's a lemon yellow. I've got a metallic red and a metallic blue. And then I am using, I actually mixed my um, yellow to be or rather, excuse me, mixed yellow with um, some white because I don't like quite as bright of a yellow. So this is what my yellow ended up being rather than that strong of a yellow. And then I always like to add a little something. I like these, I really like these deco art metallics. So I, I'm going to throw in a um, deco art metallic and this is a worn, worn penny. So, and also, as usual, I am going to coat my canvases with a, um, a gray, actually I guess it's silver, it's, a, it's an Artist's Loft Flow Acrylics and it's silver. And so I will do that and I will check in and uh, check back with you in just a moment. All right, I poured a little of this um, uh, Artist's Loft Flow Acrylic silver on, my, on each of the canvases. And I'm just gonna use my hands and mix it on there, spread it about. All of my colors are mixed with Floetrol, no water, no silicone. And I like to shake up my, um, my paints as best I can. I've pre-mixed them all in cups today, which is gonna make it a little difficult to shake them. So before I pour them into my um, flip cup, flip cups, I'm going to stir them a little bit, a little bit more than normal so that I can create a little uh, create some bubbles and hopefully get some cool effects. All right, I'm going to spread this about and I will check in, I'll be right back. All right, so I've coated um, each of these canvases with um, a silver base and now I'm going to fill up my little mini red Solo cups. And another challenge with these minis is uh, being careful to not give yourself too much paint or um, sort of lopside the amount of color that you dump into your to each of the cups. So it takes a little bit of restraint. I just want a little bit in each cup of each color. So that was the yellow, the yellow white mix. I've got my um, metallic black. I'm really trying not to dump too much color or too much paint in each cup. My general tendency is to dump, uh, is to create a, a cup with a bunch of paint in it but these are very, very tiny little canvases and you just don't need that much paint. And it's easy to um, get carried away, at least for me, with the amount of paint that you have for these minis. So I think I'm going to, let's see, it looks like I have about halfway full, yeah, maybe a little under halfway full. So I'm gonna go back through my colors and add just a little bit more of each I'm not really going in too much of a particular order here, although I tend to be a little careful with what is next to my yellow, because yellow can yellow when you mix with other other shades, you know, can make all kinds of colors, and sometimes it can just make a, an icky brown color. So um, I purposely, I guess this time I purposely put um, black, my black next to my yellow. And then the other one that is next to the yellow is this um, 
<clears throat> this worn penny metallic. The black and yellow sometimes makes sort of a green shade, and I'm okay with that. And this worn penny might make a little bit of a green shade too. All right, I'm going to end with this yellow color. And now I'm going to let my cups, my little baby, little bitty baby cups, sit for just a minute or two, and we'll be right back. Okay, these cups have sat for a bit, and I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. I like to create some suction with my cups onto the canvas. So I've done that. I flipped them over, and we're going to let them sit again just a little bit. I see some cool results coming out of the, actually all three of them. Look at that, little bitty bubbles coming out of there. Again, I'm, I'm sort of pressing down and squeezing the, the cup just a little bit to create some suction between the canvas and the cup itself. And I'm also allowing some time for the color that, um, the paint that was on the bottom of the cup, the color I put in first, to seep down towards the canvas. All right. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, wait a little bit, let's go. The waiting is the worst part, right? So I'm sort of twisting this cup on the canvas, again, creating some more suction so that I hope I can make some cells show up. One, two, three. Ooh, lots of gray there. I think, I think I, on this one, at least, it looks like I sucked up some of the silver from uh, my base coat. That's okay. Oops. All right, let's set you aside. Okay, let's twist and push and squeeze. Create suction. Ooh, whoops. I hope I didn't just dump that all off of the canvas. So sort of your hope, at least mine, with, um, these minis, I tend to do them in groups, right? I don't do just one little mini four by four because who's gonna hang that somewhere all by itself? I like to do, uh, I like to do them in groups and I've done them in like fours and I've done them in threes. I'm doing them in threes today. And someday I think I'm gonna do maybe six of them because I think that would look kind of cool. So you wanna do all the same colors and you know, so that it's, so that you can display these in a, in a grouping. I see some cells, yay. I'm going to go grab a lighter and I will be right. Where I am today, I don't have my torch, so I'm just using an old, regular old lighter. And I'm gonna try, going to try and pop some of these bubbles and not burn myself. <laughs> oh, see if I can get some more development. My phone's ringing. I'm burning my thumb. Ooh, look at the cells on this guy. All right, that's not working so well. Uh, just slip the glove back on and I'm going to tilt a little bit. These are kind of darker than I had hoped, but it is what it is. You never know what you're gonna get, right? So I am gonna go ahead and tilt these. And I can see now that, at least on this guy, number one, as I tilt, I am spreading out or stretching, I think is the term, the cells. So that's making kind of a cool effect. Try this middle guy. Let's see if I can grab him and not disturb the other, the fellow next to him. You know, you would think with these little bitty mini canvases, it'd be super easy just to, you know, pour some paint on there and see what happens. But at least when I do uh, do the minis, I'm doing multiple minis, and you've got to be careful of uh, the canvas next door. So grabbing them and tilting them and. Eh, Working with them is, can be a bit of a challenge, actually. So this guy's getting a little muddy, but we still have some interesting pattern on here. Look at that. I'm gonna bring this in a little closer. Let me drip all over. Look at that. Kind of has a, a red, white, and blue effect, and then some cloudy cloudiness on the end there. All right, these are darker than I wanted. Maybe I should have been a little bit more generous with the yellow. I've got some browns here, but you know what? It's okay. It's all right. I've got some cool effects, and I really like this guy. And, you know, if you imagine these on somebody's wall, and I have actually have a place in mind for them on, on one of my walls, if you imagine them on a wall, they're going to give you just a little bit of color and some interest. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to hang them in a vertical fashion. I'm going to give you just enough color and just enough interest to make to make a pretty good grouping, I think. 
All right, so I think I am going to sign off, you guys. I might clean these up a little bit on the edges and see any place that I missed. <clears throat> but if you ever want to try some minis, and the minis, again, are 4x4, four four, for me, 4x4 four four canvases, um, be sure to level them. Just uh, be sure to use some small cups. Careful with your amount of paint. Be good to be uh, mindful in measuring out each color so you don't get too heavy on one color or another. And, you know, just have fun. All right, guys, I'm signing off, and I will catch you next time.